For Brooklyn residents Sarah Shewal and daughter Nora, a cooking session often ends in a trip to the brown bin downstairs. The pair recycles food waste that is to be turned into compost that goes to local farms, landfills, and another unlikely destination. Newtown Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant receives pre-processed food waste daily. So the food waste comes here first. To use it in an ongoing pilot program to turn it into biogas, explains Deputy Commissioner Pem Alardo. Food waste is similar to a solids that you get at the wastewater treatment plant. So we decided to try and augment our digesters using the food waste component. It's made into a slurry and it enters our digesters. Inside the plant's oxygen-free digester eggs, this slurry is broken down by bacteria into water, carbon dioxide and methane. Elardo says that by adding 60 tons of food waste daily, the production of methane gas went up by 10%. That's methane. You smell that? While the pilot program takes place at this one plant, New York has a total of 14 wastewater treatment plants that could substantially increase the production of biogas. We can get 500 tons per day here, which is our maximum, and we could get something half or similar at all the other plants. We can get thousands of tons a day for food waste. Um, New York City produces 2,000 a ton per day residential and about the same commercial. That's 4,000 tons per day. Potentially, this system, this solution could take all the food waste. Right now, part of the methane is reused to power the plants, while the excess gas is flared into the atmosphere. But in the future, it'll get purified to go back into the city's pipelines to provide energy to heat homes and power stoves, to the excitement of Shewal. It's a cycle that I get to be a part of on the front end and the back end. It's I'm pretty incredible, I think. If all goes well, the project will cook up enough energy to heat more than 5,000 New York City homes and reduce a big chunk of the city's greenhouse gas emissions.